Yes, Little Jewel was the Huey Freeman of her PWI Catholic school, giving all the nuns a run for their money. <laughs> this, um, what I was writing, goes on to talk about Nelson Mandela, Stephen Biko, apartheid in South Africa. Little Jewel has always been about the diaspora. Don't ever forget it. I've been offered two amazing teaching opportunities this summer. One, I'd be able to teach outdoors at a summer camp and also have access to the zip lining, the hiking trails, and the pool at the camp. Jules dream, <laughs> little Jules dream. The second would be with the Upward Bound program at NJIT, working with children that more than likely look like me. The camp opportunity was actually offered to me last year, but then COVID and they circle back this year. So I've been excited about this camp for over a year, but then this NJIT Upward Bound program just came up within the past two weeks. And I feel like I know where my services are needed most and where I'd be most impactful, or at least where I hope I'd be most impactful. From this little book. Is the way you, let go, just relax. Yeah. Is the way you think. Mm. So this is your thinking, your patterns of thinking. The index finger is on both hands? Both hands. The left hand is for non-living things. The right hand is for living things. Interesting. Yeah. Want to take pictures of it? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I could send them to you. I have them. I, I, I'll have them so you can you can have them on there. Most I just want to capture the process, not yeah. necessarily my fingerprints. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, Johan will know. He's lived here for many, you know, he's many been with us for a while, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He is, he's just gone. We begin to see the noises of all the bodies. So we're doing the new thing. Okay. I don't know what it is when people touch my hands, my um, they get really scared. They think I'm going to do many tears to wait for a sun. What is the significance of the little oh. finger? Oh, the little finger is your occipital. So okay. at the back, your vision, the way you see things in life. Mm. Yeah. Both sides, left, uh, and right. left and right, depending on what it is, one's for living things and one's for non-living things. So what we're doing, all the left hands are at the moment is mm -hmm. living things. And now we're gonna move on to the right, uh, which would be what is the ring finger for? Ring finger is your, the way you speak, the way you hear. Yeah. When you say non-living things, like what does that So there'll be work, it'll be uh, um, material stuff, books, how you read it, uh, you know, shops, things, valuable mm -hmm. things, whatever. And Whereas living things, living things would be interacting with people, how you interact with people. What plus, about nature and wildlife? And all plants. That? Plants and animals, that's it. Yeah. How you treat animals, you can see it in there, and how you treat people, how you talk to people. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm so excited to get this report. You're welcome. How long are you going to Zanzibar for? Just, um, yeah. oh, sure. Monday, I'll be back Wednesday. Just oh, a couple, of a couple of days. Have you got a place to stay? I do, yes. yes. Oh, fudge. What did I just do? so tight. <laughs> ah, just relax, relax. Once a week, yeah. every day. Yeah. Now you're going to turn both these over towards the left. So you'll be seated on your left hip on your blanket. 
right knee just kind of folds in down towards your mat and you just walk your hands away from you maybe you behind you your chest forward towards the front okay. and push into your hands turn your chest towards your left thigh And stay where you are. And then just turn your chest back forward towards the front of your mat. Lift your left knee and slide your left heel forward so your legs are straight. All right, both knees. Bend your knees. You can lean back. Bend your knees and put your feet on your mat. Now you're gonna turn both knees over towards the left so you'll be seated on your left hip on your blanket. Right knee just kind of folds in down towards your mat and you just walk your hands away from you. Maybe you stay on your hands and you lower down to your forearms. So we'll be here for three breaths. Take your time, lift your chest away from your left leg. So your legs are gonna stay the same. You're still seated on your blanket. Just turn your chest towards the back of your mat. Put your hands behind your blanket down on the ground we're trying to add a little bit of twist here so try to sweep your heart towards the back edge of your mat and when you do that notice how your right hip wants to come with you let that happen push it over towards the left side of your mat Keep your left hand right where it is. Take your right hand, put your right hand on your right hip. Turn your chest to the left side of your mat. It'll come out of that twist. And then we'll do it again. Take yourself into a twist. Try to turn your heart towards the back of your mat. Just keep your right hand on your hip so you can feel it move. And then come out of the twist. Turn towards the left side of your room. And then towards the back of your mat. And one more time, just turn your chest forward and towards the back of your mat. So maybe you feel this on the front of the right hip. Maybe down the front of the right thigh and then turn your chest towards your left knee. We're gonna turn all the way forward to the front of your mat. So just lift your knees and then we'll turn your knees over towards the right. So you're seated on your right hip, right? Your left buttock does not touch your blankets away. Just walk your hands away from you in front of your right leg. And just lower your chest towards your right leg. Whether your arms are straight or you bend your elbows and float your forearms down towards the ground, either arm variation is fine. Take your time, walk your hands back towards you, lift your chest, and a twist to the back of your mat. So you'll take your hands behind your blanket, both of them. Root into either your fingertips or the palms of your hands and use that to drive the twist a little bit deeper. Take your left hand to your left hip. Keep your right hand right where it is. Turn your chest towards your right knee. Come out of the twist. And then back into it as you spin your heart towards the back of your mat. Bring your left hip with you. 
Feel the movement in your pelvis as you come out of the twist and turn um, your chest towards your right knee, maybe towards your left knee, and then towards the back of your mat. Push the left hip forward. And then we'll do it one more time. Turn your chest um, away from your right hand. And then turn your chest towards the back of your mat and you push your left hip towards your right leg. So push, push, push. Turn your chest back forward towards the front of your mat. Lift your knees, we'll meet. Still seated on your blanket. Now this time, if it feels comfortable, cross your legs in front of you. Doesn't matter which leg goes in front. All right. I'm just gonna take your right hand to uh, underneath your left elbow. Use your right hand to lift your left elbow towards the ceiling. Take your left upper arm behind your head. Notice if you push forward into a back bend, try to squeeze the front of your ribs back in towards the center of your body. And then help your left elbow down in front of you on the switch sides. Take your left hand underneath your right elbow, scoop it up towards the ceiling, right upper arm behind your head. Again, with a neutral spine, Right, so don't back bend, just squeeze in on the front of your torso. You might just help the right elbow down when you start to add on to this. So take your left, or right hand, excuse me, underneath your left elbow, back to where we started. So left elbow points towards the ceiling, your hands just at your upper back. Try to walk your right hand or your right finger, excuse me, down um, your left arm. And try to pull your left elbow across the ceiling towards the right. So a little bit more of a tricep stretch. And then help the left elbow down and we'll switch sides. So left hand underneath the right elbow, scoop it all the way up towards the ceiling. When you're ready, you can crawl your left fingers up your right arm and try to pull the right elbow across the sky towards the left. And this last little bit, and we'll add on here to take the right arm down in front of you. Right hand underneath the left elbow, back where we started. So left elbow starts at the ceiling. Crawl your fingers up your left arm and then turn this into a side stretch. So pull your left elbow towards the right side of the room. Now notice if you turn your chest down towards your right side, pull the left shoulder back, keep your chest open. And then you're gonna come back to center and we'll switch to the last side. So left arm comes down, right elbow lifts towards the ceiling. Start with a tricep stretch, walk your fingers. Then arc your spine to the left. Nice. Right, so lift yourself back to center. Help your right elbow down, your right arm down in front of you. Okay, lean back, uncross your legs. Your blanket's gonna stay underneath your bottom, right at the center of your mat. Keep a bend in your knees and lower all the way down to your back. When you come down to your back, walk your feet together to touch. Just the left knee, open your left knee towards the left side of your uh, mat. Close the left knee to center and switch. Open the right knee out. Close the right knee. Back to the left. Open. Close the left knee and open on the right. 
take this on your own a few more times and just be really like fluid with the movement so you don't have to close one knee before you open the other maybe think about just windshield wipering your knee is one and then the other to the sides of your mat and while you do this return the awareness to the back of your pelvis and think about using your blanket to massage your glutes So we'll meet with both knees open and apart from one another, your feet together to touch. Without the help of your hands, close your knees towards the ceiling. Now knock your knees together to touch and step your feet wider than your hips so your feet are closer towards the outer edges of your mat. Your feet will stay wide. Turn your knees straight up towards the ceiling. Keep your left foot right where it is with a bend in your left knee and straighten your right leg forward to the front of your mat. So you'll slide your right heel down the uh, edge of your mat towards the top right corner. And um, just like we did while we were seated, you're gonna take your left knee and sway your left knee towards your right leg. And just let the left knee hang. Again, outer hip, outer thigh. Turn your left knee towards the ceiling, bend your right knee, slide your right foot up the edge of your mat, and then send the left leg straight so your heels down the left edge of your mat, and then hang the right knee towards your left leg just so let it hang loose. If you need to walk your right foot out a little bit, because that makes it feel a little bit more comfortable, or you can kind of sit in the stretch sensation a little bit better. It's fine, do that. And slip your right knee towards the ceiling. Bend your left knee, slide your left foot off your mat. Walk your feet, both of them, back onto your mat. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Either hold on to your shin or underneath your thigh. It doesn't matter which place you hold on uh, to. Just pull the right back closer towards your chest. Now send the left leg forward towards the front. Lift your left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Right leg will stay still. Send the left leg forward towards the front of your mat. Remember hip control, right? We're just using uh, the soft tissues around the left hip. Lift the left leg back up towards the ceiling to help control as your hip socket and lower the left leg down towards your mat without touching your heel. Do it again, lift the left leg up. And so the left leg forward, stay here, hold it. You can point your toes forward towards the front of your mat. Now flex both of your ankles, push your heels away from you and notice if you feel any difference. Relax your ankles. Bend your left knee, bring it in towards your chest. Notice if the left leg feels tired. It's fine if it does. Switch your hands to your left leg. Hold on to it and bring it close to your chest. Now send the right leg forward towards the front of your mat. Remember, don't touch your heel down to the ground. 
Controlling at your right hip, lift your right leg up towards the sky. How much effort does this take? Just notice that. Without judging, take the right leg forward towards the front. And lift your right leg back up. Can you move your legs slower through this movement? Take the right heel forward and down. Move the right leg up. And the last time, take your right leg forward. Just hover it right here, hold it. What do you feel like right here? And then compare that to how you feel when you point your toes. And then again, when you flex your ankles and push your heels away. And just relax your ankles, bring the right knee in towards your chest. Release your hands, lower your feet down to your mat. So still a bend in your knees. The last little bend here, take your hands to your thighs. Just on top of your thighs, use your hands to try to push your thighs away from you. So if that means you need to walk your hands up your thighs closer towards your hip joints, to feel the sensation of pushing your thighs away from you and maybe walking your shoulder blades towards the back of your mat so that you feel long or longer in your spine. Together, breathe in. When you exhale, just release your hands and take your arms by your sides. We're gonna end with a blanket underneath your bottom, so just straighten your legs forward towards the front of your mat. If you prefer to remove the blanket, then just lower your bottom all the way.
Then again, going into the pose of cell cat. So after you repeat the movement on each side, you end it by going into the pose of cell cat and feel that energy in the palms of your hands. Feel the rejuvenation and revitalization of the flow of the life force through your body. Repeat the movement again, pose of men. Breathing in. Slowly turn your body, turning your body to your left and extending your left hand back with your right palm on your chest, bending your left arm at the elbow, making a right angle, turning your head to the front, opening up your neck and your shoulders, looking in both directions, breathing in and letting your body turn back to the front. And then exhale, return your left head onto the back of your right hand. And then we breathe in again. And on the exhalation, we turn the body to the right. And then we let the right arm go straight back. 
bending the right arm at the elbow, making sure you create a right angle with your arm and turn your head to the front, opening up the vertebrae in your neck, turn your head to the back, stimulating the glands and the organs in your throat again, turning your body as you breathe in and return your palms back to the original position and on your inhalation, the arms go above your head. On your exhalation, you bring your arms out to the side, returning to the pose of self kept Try to feel the energy in your palms and feel the energy maintaining in the palms. Then release your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists. We step forward with the left foot. You breathe in and return your palms back to the original position. And on your inhalation, the arms go above your head. On your exhalation, you bring your arms out to the side, returning to the pose of self kept Try to feel the energy in your palms and feel the energy maintaining in the palms. Then release your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, and your fingers. From here, we're going to go into the next series of movements called Ma'at Ka. We step forward with the left foot. The right foot is behind you at about a 45 degree angle. We rotate the arms out and lift them up above the head. On your exhalation, your palms touch. On your inhalation, you lift your arms up. And on your exhalation, relax your neck and let your head go back. You breathe out and shift your hips back. And extending, reach your arms down until your fingertips touch the floor. Turning your body as you breathe in. Back to the original position. And on your inhalation, the arms go above your head. On your exhalation, you bring your arms out to the side returning to the pose of self kept Try to feel the energy in your palms and feel the energy maintaining in the palms. Then release your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, and your fingers. From here, we're going to go into the next series of movements called Ma'at Ka. We step forward with the left foot. The right foot is behind you at about a 45 degree angle. We rotate the arms out and lift them up above the head. On your exhalation, your palms touch. On your inhalation, you lift your arms up. And on your exhalation, relax your neck and let your head go back. You breathe out and shift your hips back and extending, reaching your arms down until your fingertips touch the floor. Your inhalation brings your body right back up, breathing in, and then exhaling and releasing your neck, keeping your fingertips pointed at 12 o'clock. On your inhalation, you bring your head up, your arms come out to the side as you exhale, and you turn your body out to the right, bending your arms making right angles. This is your Ka position. The word Ka means spirit and spirit means energy. So you want to feel this energy moving through your body. Again, turning the head from side to side, opening up the vertebra of the neck, stimulating the glands and organs of your throat. Your inhalation turns your body to the front. Your exhalation brings your hands together in front of your chest. You rise up onto your left heel, bending your right knee and shifting your hips back and bending forward and try to touch your hands to your big toe. You move from your center core and raise your back up straight, breathing in and extending the arms up, exhaling the release of the neck, letting the head go back, keeping your fingertips pointed at 12 o'clock. Let your arms come out and down, making a straight line from fingertip to fingertip. And with your exhalation, we bring the chest over the ground, 
keep your upper body parallel to the ground. And then you let your left hand come into the inside of your left foot. Your right arm is extended straight. You want to make a straight line from your right hand, which is up, to your left hand, which is down next to your left foot. On your inhalation, you turn your body to your chest is parallel with the ground. Your inhalation brings your body up. Your exhalation bends the arms. And as you exhale again, you bring your palms together. Kind of feel the energy be compressed between your palms. Your inhalation extends the arms up. And then your exhalation releases your neck. Then your head go back and stimulate it. Pose 11, extended mountain. Pose 12, meditative posture. Diamond hands, pyramid hands over the third. Pose 13, chair pose. Pose 14, nut inverted pose. Pose 15. 
Visualize yourself standing upright in the seat, power, and wisdom. 
your head reaching towards the heavens, guiding your destiny. When you're ready, shift the weight into your right foot. Lift your left knee in line with your hip and step forward with your left foot. Position your right foot at a 45 degree angle. Gathering balance from your feet, your lower legs, through your hips, chest. On your inhale, circle your arms up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Bring your palms together to touch just above your head. Closing your energy circuits from right to left side. On your exhale, take a back bend. Press your chest forward as you release your head and neck. Bring your upper body back upright and hold it for the Your palms stay pressed together as you exhale, fold forward to bring your fingertips closer to your toes. Here in your toes. Inhale to lift your torso, upper body, and back, back up to As you exhale, release into your back bend, pressing your chest forward, allowing your head and back to fall backwards, only as comfortable as the back of your neck and head. Inhale, On your inhale, bring your torso back upright. And as you exhale, release your arms out to your sides like a capital T. Palms facing down, foot down, breathing. Twist from your torso to turn your upper body to the right. Bend at your elbows to make right angles with your arms coming into cow position. Feel the energy of this shape as you turn your head to look to the left. Bring your head back to center. On your next breath, turn your head to look to the right. And come back to center. On your inhale, twist from your core. Turn your torso back to the front of your neck. Arms stay in front. Exhale, closing the energy circuit, bringing your palms together in front of your chest. Lift your left toes to balance on your left heel. And bend your back right. Shift your hips back to fold forward from your waist. Extend your palms and your fingertips to your left big toe. Slowly start to lift your chest and torso back up, bringing your palms back to your heart center. Place your left toes back onto the ground so that your foot is flat. And straighten your back right knee. Palms remain together as you send your energy and your arms up towards the sky above your head. Exhale into your back bend, releasing your head and neck. So back up straight to center. As you 
exhale, separate your palms, on your arms, back to shoulder tight, coming into a capital T. As you exhale, bend from your waist to fold forward halfway, using your core muscles here, your arms stay wide. Engage your core to turn, to come into a medic triangle pose. Your left palms will be on the inside of your left foot. Your right arm extends to the sky, nice long line from fingertips to fingertips, reaching from the earth and again to the heavens to the sky. Keep reaching that right arm back into space to open up your chest. Nice long line. Inhale, turn from your waist. Your chest will be parallel to the ground. Tighten up your ab muscles, strengthen your core, your belly. Slowly start to lift your chest and upper body up. As you exhale, bend both elbows into 90 degree angles, coming back to town. Exhale, release into your back bend. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lower your arms straight out in line with your shoulders, tap your T shape. Exhale, to lower your arms all the way down to your side. Bend your left knee to step forward with the right foot. With both feet back together, pause in your haru, your mountain pose. Take a breath. Center yourself, drawing energy up from your feet, all the way out to the crown of your head. We'll repeat this sequence on the right side. We'll step to the back of your mat. Reposition yourself in your nice, strong, powerful, grounded career. When you're ready, shift the weight into your left foot. Lift your right knee in line with your hip and then step forward with your right foot. Inhale to extend your arms out towards the sky. Bringing your palms together above your head. Exhale to press your chest forward, leaning your head back, back bend. Opening everything to the throat chakra, the neck, the chest. Inhale to bring your torso back upright. As you exhale, fold forward into your pyramid pose. Bring your fingertips down to the mat. Tighten your cord, your inhale will allow you to rise back up. Exhale, take your back bend with the right finger. Inhale, your torso comes back straight. Exhale, separate your palms. Releasing your arms out to shoulder tight, back to your back of the two palms, facing down towards the earth, towards the head.
Rotate from your midsection to turn to your left. Bend your elbows into right angles for calf. your head to the right, bring your head back to center, turn your head to the left, to gaze over your left shoulder, bring your head back to center. Inhale to twist from your core, your midsection, to bring your torso in line with your front leg, facing towards the front of your mat, arms are sitting high. Now bring your palms together in front of your chest, closing that energy circuit. Lift your right toes to balance on your right heel. Bend your back, left knee, as you start to fold forward, hinging from your waist, reaching your fingertips toward your lifted toe. Continue to exhale as you stretch your arms straight. On your inhale, bring your palms back in towards your chest as you slowly start to rise, lifting your torso and your chest. Push your right foot back down to down. <laughs> Inhale to extend your palms high towards the sky. Exhale, take your back bend and your shoes with your side head. Back, throat open. Chest presses open. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, lower your arms to shoulder height, capital T shape, palms facing down, feet together, face the earth. Hold for the inhale as you exhale, twist to hinge from your hips to fold. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, hinge at your hips to fold over your front right leg. Now twist from your core to come into kinetic triangle folding. Your arms stay wide like a capital T. Your right hand will be on the inside of your right foot and your left arm reaches towards the sky. Nice long line. Pull that left arm back into space. Open up your chest. Your head can look straight ahead. You can turn your head to look down towards your head or up towards the sky. Whatever feels best for you. Now bring everything back to center on your next out breath. Twist from your core, from your torso, to bring your chest parallel to the mat. Tighten your abs, your stomach muscles to lift your chest and torso back up to stand. Exhale, bend your up.
is that ever feel best for you. Now bring everything back to center on your next out breath, twist from your core, from your torso. To bring your chest parallel to the mat. Tighten your abs, your stomach muscles to lift your chest and torso back up to stand. Exhale, bend your elbows back to prime, 90 degree angle. Bring your palms together at the center of your chest. Last time, extending your arms high towards the sky. As you exhale, start to lower your arms down to shoulder height. And then bring the arms all the way down to the side. Shift the weight forward into your right foot. Step the left foot forward. Come back to your blue pose to seal the However many breaths you need to feel, to feel the energy running up from depth from the earth, from your feet, the lower legs, the knees, the hips, the core, the chest, so right out to the crown of your head. Feel the energy moving. Feeling your feet connected to depth and the energy of the earth. Visualize yourself staying upright and cheap. We start this sequence standing in the Our powerful and movable mountain pose. Feeling your feet connected to depth and the energy of the earth. Visualize yourself standing upright in truth, power, and wisdom. Your head reaching towards the heavens, guiding your destiny. When you're ready, shift the weight into your right foot. Lift your left knee in line with your hip and step forward with your left foot. Position your right foot at a 45 degree angle. Gathering balance from your feet, your lower legs, up through your hips, chest, On your inhale, circle your arms up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Bring your palms together to touch just above your head. Closing the energy circuits from left to left side. On your exhale, take a back bend. Press your chest forward as you release your head and neck. Your 
the next exhale, bring the upper body back upright and hold for the end. Your palms stay pressed together as you exhale, hold forward and bring the fingertips closer to the toes. Beautiful. Yeah, cool. Inhale to lift your torso, upper body, and back. Back up to stand. As you exhale, release into your back bend, pressing your chest forward, allowing your head and neck to fall backwards only as comfortable as the back of your neck. On your inhale, bring your torso back upright. And as you exhale, release your arms out to your sides like a capital T. Palms facing down towards again. Twist from your torso to turn your upper body to the right. Bend at your elbows to make right angles with your arms coming into cow position. Feel the energy of this shape as you turn your head to look to the left. Bring your head back to center. On your next breath, turn your head to look to the right. And come back to center. On your inhale, twist from your core to turn your torso back to the front of your neck. Arms stand high. Exhale, closing the energy circuit, bringing your palms together in front of your chest. Lift your left toes to balance on your left heel. And bend your back right and Shift your hips back to fold forward from your waist. Extend your palms and your fingertips to your left big trunk. Slowly start to lift your chest and torso back up, bringing your palms back to your heart center. Place your left toes back onto the ground so that your foot is flat. And straighten your back right. Palms remain together as you send your energy and your arm up towards the sky above your head. Exhale into your back bend, releasing your head and neck. Inhale, lift your torso back up straight to center. As you exhale, separate your palms on your arm, back to shoulder to height, coming into a capital T. As you exhale, bend from your waist to fold forward halfway, using your core muscles here. Your arms stay wide. Engage your core to turn to come into a kinetic triangle pose. Your left palms will be on the inside of your left foot. Your right arm extends to the sky, nice long line from fingertips to fingertips, reaching from the earth again to the heavens. Keep reaching that right arm back into space to open up the chest. Nice long lines. Inhale, turn from your waist. Your chest will be parallel to the ground. Tighten up your ab muscles, strengthen your core, your belly. Slowly start to lift your 
As you exhale, bend both elbows and to bend with the angles, coming back to the arm. Hold for the inhale. On your out breath, bring your palms together to touch in front of your chest. Inhale, reach your arms up high to the sky above your head. Exhale, release into your back bend. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lower your arms straight out in line with your shoulders, capital T shape. Exhale to lower your arms all the way down to your side. Bend your left knee to step forward with the right foot. With both feet back together, pause in your haru, the mountain pose. Take a breath. Center yourself, drawing energy up from your feet, all the way out to the crown of your head. We'll repeat this sequence on the right side. The step to the back of your mat. Reposition yourself in your nice, strong, powerful, grounded balloon. When you're ready, shift the weight into your left foot. Lift your right knee in line with your hip and then step forward with your right foot. Inhale to extend your arms out towards the sky. Bringing your palms together above your head. Exhale to press your chest forward, leaning your head back, back down. Opening everything to the throat chakra, the neck, throat chakra. Inhale to bring your torso back upright. As you exhale, fold forward into your pyramid pose, bringing your fingertips down to the mat. Tighten your core, your inhale will allow you to rise back up. Exhale, take your back bend, just right to you. Inhale, your torso comes back straight. Exhale, separate your palms, releasing your arms out to shoulder height back to your capital T palms facing down towards the earth, towards the earth. Rotate from your midsection to turn to your left. Bend your elbows into right angles for power position. Turn your head to the back. Bring your head back to center. Turn your head to the left. The gaze over the left shoulder. Bring your head back to center. Inhale to twist from your core, your midsection, to bring your torso in line with your front leg facing towards the front of your mat, arms are still in the front. Now bring your palms together in front of your chest, closing that energy circuit. Lift your right toes to balance on your right hand. 
bend your back left knee as you start to fold forward, hinging from your waist, reaching your fingertips towards your lifted hip. Continue to exhale as you stretch your arms straight. On your inhale, bring your palms back in towards your chest as you slowly start to rise, lifting your torso and your chest like that. Place your right foot back down to balance. Both feet flat. Inhale to extend your palms up high towards the sky. Exhale, take your back bend if you choose, releasing your head. Back, foot open, chest presses open. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, lower your arms to shoulder height, have your T-shaped palms facing down and hold together. Hold for the inhale as you exhale, twist the hinge from your hips to fold. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, hinge at your hips to fold over your front right leg. Now twist from your core to come into kinetic triangle pose. Your arms stay wide as a tapping T. Your right hand will be on the inside of your right foot and your left arm reaches towards the sky. Nice long line, pull that left arm back into space, open up your chest. Your head can be straight ahead. You can turn your head to look down towards your left or up towards the sky, whichever feels best for you. Now bring everything back to center on your next out breath twist from your core, from your torso, to bring your chest parallel to the mat. Tighten your abs, your stomach muscles to lift your chest and torso back up to stand. Exhale, bend your elbows back to pie, 90 degree angle. Bring your palms together at the center of your chest. Last time, extending your arms up high towards the sky. Feel the energy from the front of you. Exhale, take your back bend to release. And you will come back to center. As you exhale, start to lower your arms down to shoulder height. And then bring your arms all the way down to the side. Shift the weight forward into your right foot. Step the left foot forward. Come back to the blue pose to seal in your palm. With however many breaths you need to feel. Feel the energy going up from Deb and Her. In your feet, your lower legs, your knees, your hips, your core, your chest, foot, right out to the crown of your head. Feel the energy in your feet. Thank you so much for joining me in this podcast. Watching the bonnet debate from Africa has been kind of ridiculous. Like, seriously, America, this is this is what's on our hearts right now. 
But what's even crazier is that back in February, sleep.com asked my thoughts on wearing head wraps and like the tradition behind black women wearing head wraps. And so I broke down the history from how we started wearing head wraps in Africa and then how that transitioned to America and the different things that it means in terms of self-expression, but which everybody do whatever you want with your own body and your hair, okay? Don't let these people police you. I prefer a um, head wrap and hat in public moment myself, but that's neither here nor there. What's even crazier is that I thought my responses were too militant for sleep.com, which they did edit me a lot. But in the midst of the bonnet debate, they finally published the article. So y'all get to read it on my press page.